Good day everybody, Peter here from RV Finders and yes, another great quality motorhome coming your way. So have a look at this, this is a 2014 Burstner. It is a IXCO 734, so it's got, when it says IXCO, IXCO it's got a drop down bed, uh, but this one is a very popular uh, island bed uh, version, so um, have a look, it's on the 150 multi-jet uh, engine, 150 horsepower, Fiat ever so popular, and uh, yeah, great condition overall, it's got a lovely awning up there, color coded, and uh, yeah, we'll get into the entry door pretty soon, over here we've got the toilet cassette, it's a Dometic toilet cassette, okay, 20 liters, okay, tires still very good condition, and then over here, We've got the lovely big garage. Now, it's got tie downs, it's got a little table, I'll show you in a moment, it's got the original table, that's a wee little table that you can use. And then the fresh water hoses, everything is in that bag, as well as a spare wheel, and you've got all these nooks and crannies to put more stuff in. So if you come around, this is on a COF, so yes, um, lots of payload on it. And then you've got the reverse camera, and this is a great bike rack. It's pretty expensive, these bike racks. It's an omni lift, so it's a two lay omni lift. So it winds down right very down at the bottom, so you can easily put the bikes on. Very, very handy because you don't have to lift it all the way up, and especially people with back problems. Now, over here, we've got the campground 240 outlet, or from the, um, and then obviously. You got two 9 kg big gas bottles in there. All right, this is the Truma heating vent, so you can see double glazed windows, really, really great. Everything will be on up to date. This warrant of fitness of the electrical warrant is only running out in 2023, so all of that will be up to date. And there, you've got the wastewater, it's a 90 liter tank, that's the outlet there, and then yeah, you will see that steel wheel. We're just busy sorting a hub cap for that. Yeah, it's one missing, so yeah, those things do lose if you don't tie it with cable ties, so so please do that, tie, zip ties as they call it as well. Now over here, we've got the 90 litre um, fuel tank diesel. Right, so we'll step on to the other side and see what she's all about. Okie dokie, so now we are at the entry, entry door, as you can see, we've got the waste bin here on, mounted on the door. And just have a look at this, uh, so you've got the uh, awning light up here, okay, and uh, also what's really nice is if you look at this, a grab handle, so yeah, it lights up, it's really great, so when you come in, you just switch that on, and these are the lights inside, we'll go, well, step inside and go to the back. So yeah, and we go up and look at this lovely area here. Now this is really amazing, uh, the bed, as you can see, you can make it longer by putting in that two squabs there so you can put it in over here and that will lengthen the bed quite substantially but I mean I'm 1.7 and in the bed in this position I can sleep really really comfortable and this is also pretty great because look at that now we can gain access to the uh, garage as well as storage here and then if you have a look this is where the rest uh, the other storage is Okay, so we've got more storage in there, All right? Okay, and then yeah, you got the wardrobes. You got a smaller one this side, bigger one this side. Got those little lights, and I really like that setup there with the movable lights, the reading lights, as well as those pockets, because you can put magazines and everything. Your phone. The moment you can see the the, the remote is there for the television right over there, and it is RSE. So as you know. It is pretty good quality. So yeah, massive wardrobe. I would say he's and hers. And then yeah, coming around here, we can see this is where the lovely big shower unit is. Okay. And uh, coming this way is the swivel toilet seat. You can have a look. And the swing out basin. They got And you've got lots of storage there. Uh, in there as well, okay. In that little, and it's got lovely lights there. I can just probably switch the lights on there, have a look at the lighting there, pretty good, okay. And then this door actually is also as a privacy door, you can hang your uh, towels up there. 
so it's actually quite great it acts as a privacy door our privacy in the toilet area All right now we come into this area we've got a three burner lovely three burner gas hob you've got an oven and a grill down here okay and then storage galore over here here okay and uh, this is a new tap that's been put in recently this you can use as a cutting board but it's not really used that much with the zinc and then more storage in here your cutlery drawer and more drawers everything down there okay and then up here here's another RSE TV so yes it comes with two televisions and also an RSE Sammy Auto dish now those dishes are pretty expensive as most of you would probably know and then over here this is your control panel the Bursner control panel to show you the vehicle the vehicle battery house batteries fresh water wastewater water pump okay and then yep we got to this side and this is where the Dometic fridge is lovely big fridge freezers I really love these about 165 liters I believe so yep and then now we come to this big lounge now as I said uh, oh before we do that let's just drop down the bed and show you about the bed so you can drop down this this cushion over here but then the main thing is just lift that up and then pull it down and voila look at that now these restraints are for helping stopping falling out and look at that big massive bed and you got your reading lights up there and then in the morning you can leave the bed made up and then just chuck your pillows into those cubby holes over there which is pretty good oh yeah that's the fridge it's telling me that it's automatic three-way so it shows that we didn't open the gas and that will give you an alarm that it is looking for the power source so to push it up just towards you and up and clip it in and bobs your uncle right so then yeah this area here we got more storage up here both sides which is pretty cool and then the table is removable and it can slide a little bit forwards and backwards and then just by pulling this knob we can actually swivel it around and look at that one two three four five people but it can travel four it's got four safety belts okay right and then over there you can have a look in the front there it's got an inverter here just before we go there it's quite a nice big inverter 1800 watt and then there in the front the ever popular dashboard of the fiat is fully aut uh, automatic and then under here we've got the uh, batteries underneath there there's two house batteries and this is actually can use it as that uh, what people did here with the magazine rack where all the manuals are in or people put in shoes here whatever as they come into the door right so if you would like to know more about this amazing quality high quality motorhome please contact me peter rvfinders.co.nz you can go on our facebook page also our youtube channel where there's quite a lot of motorhomes do some comparisons and see how much how many boxes you can tick um, i would say this really ticks a lot of boxes for a lot of people because about 8 out of 10 people would love an island bed set up like that where you've got the separate toilet and shower you can close up the door the kids can sleep up there they can watch the telly and you can watch whatever you like in your bedroom area and or read a book or whatever and yeah you can stay separated uh, for as long as you like especially on those rainy days when everybody is stuck in the motorhome so thank you so much for watching until next time, have a great day. Goodbye.